Hi, thanks for joining us. Another episode of Money TV. I'm Don Belarjan. So glad you'd be with us. Money TV is the program all about money and what makes it happen. Well, in her interview with Diane Sawyer, which had been promoted by ABC TV as though God himself had come down to earth to answer a few questions, Hillary Clinton made the statement that she and the former president were dead broke when they left the White House in early 2001. She also said that because of that, she fully appreciates how hard life is for average Americans. Sometimes all one can do when you hear stuff like that is just shake your head. In her own Senate financial disclosure forms, which were filed in 2000, Clinton listed assets of nearly $781,000 to over $1.8 million. Now, that's certainly not in the Bill Gates arena, but it is a far cry from the average American. She also listed debts between $2.3 and $10.6 million in legal fees owed to four law firms. 2.3 to 10.6, that's a big gap. They should have probably spent more money on accountants than lawyers. Of course, being dead broke when you're a Clinton and being dead broke when you're an average American is two different states of being. In 1999, the Clintons were helped by then fundraiser Terry McAuliffe to secure a $1.7 million loan to buy a home in Chappaqua, New York, so that Hillary could claim New York residency and run for the Senate. How many average Americans can get a $1.7 million loan when they're dead broke? Now, Bill Clinton, of course, wasted no time after leaving the White House lawn and Marine One to jump onto the speaker's circuit. He was earning millions of dollars in speaker's fees and book advances in a pretty short period of time. But before she left the White House as First Lady, Hillary herself secured an $8 million advance for her memoirs. I guess she had forgotten about that, and Diane Sawyer didn't bring it up. Now, how, how many average Americans can sign with a booking agent and earn those kinds of fees in a matter of weeks or months? Just a few short years later, the previously dead broke Clintons were worth between 10 and $50 million. It's not a bad recovery from being dead broke. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm all for achieving success. America is a great country because the opportunities to become successful well, are all around us. I have no problem at all with the Clintons making millions of dollars selling books and making speeches. Frankly, more power to them. But don't try to tell us you're dead broke because you weren't. And don't tell us that you'd understand what the average American goes through, that you know how hard life is for the average American because you don't have a clue. Speaker fees in the half million dollar range and eight million dollar book advancers are not within reach of average Americans. Now this is something that's in reach of everybody. It's our toll free number in reach from anywhere in the world you're watching the program, 888-259-4449. That's to get free information about our featured guests. When you do call, be sure and ask to be added to the subscription list of our Money TV newsletter. Again, 888-259-4449 in your mobile phone, just text Money TV to go 800 or 46800. Visit us at MoneyTV.net. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.